the problem of pancreatic cancer is uh, inverse of detection is the lo location of the organ. The pancreas is in the retroperitoneum, which is not in the abdominal cavity but behind it. It lays behind of the stomach, and so it's a very silent region. And uh, by the time that it is clinically um, uh, noticeable, it's already uh, had the opportunity to enlarge dramatically. So uh, that is usually the main issue why uh, these cancers are detected at an advanced stage. The other uh, reason is that unless it's a tumor located in the head of the pancreas, which immediately would make the patient turn yellow or jaundiced, everywhere else in the pancreas is just going to be abdominal pain that can be very non-specific. Many people think they have ulcers or uh, they get diagnosed with other things. Um, so the symptoms may be very, very um, atypical and there's really no particular symptom that says, ooh, you have pancreatic cancer unless you have pancreatitis as the first presentation. Because of the location of the pancreas, there's a lot of uh, uh, very important blood vessels, veins and arteries that pass alongside the pancreas, especially when it's in the head of the pancreas. And they, they are in such close proximity that any growth immediately um, goes towards encasing, pushing, uh, getting stuck to these big blood vessels, being the superior mesenteric artery, the superior mesenteric vein, or the portal vein. And when the tumors get um, Adhe adherent to these vessels or more like invading or encasing, these are vessels that cannot be removed. And that's exactly at the junction of, imagine a highway, that's where a lot of the highways intersect. And so it's, I mean, it's really uh, strategically located towards having problems in regards of resection if advanced. And there, has, there have been uh, at least three uh, studies in the literature uh, reporting that uh, in patients at high risk for pancreatic cancer, and that is familial pancreatic cancer, or some type of genetic uh, syndrome, uh, like uh, patients that have uh, familial uh, polyposis coli that are at high risk for ampullary and pancreatic cancer, patients with uh, BRAC2 mutations are also at risk. From, so patients that are at high risk, uh, doing endoscopic ultrasound may allow us to find something at a preclinical stage. So one centimeter, something that could not have any symptoms whatsoever. Uh, it, there's at least three studies that have shown that we can detect either pre-malignant or very early malignant lesions of the pancreas. Uh, there was a recent uh, published article that was in the Chicago Tribune, I believe, uh, from uh, uh, Dr. Vadim Bachman's group at uh, 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 the Biomedical School of Engineering at Northwestern, where they used a partia partial wave spectroscopy, which look extremely exciting in regards to it's a minimally invasive technique by putting a probe next to the area where the pancreas enters the small intestine, which is very accessible to endoscopy, you can potentially detect a field defect that uh, determines that that patient may be at risk for pancreatic cancer or rule it out. Mm -hmm. This is very exciting work. It's very premature uh, to, uh, it's really not ready for uh, clinical use, but at least gives us hope that there may be a minimally invasive uh, a technique to really, you could potentially screen a lot of people very easily with this technology.